to show you how to apply your denture adhesive so you won't get any sores. There's no rules in denture adhesive. Call me crazy. But let me show you how I put these in and it's different than probably most people do. Let's talk about how to apply denture adhesive to your dentures and why you shouldn't follow the package instructions. Most package instructions, if you look on the back, you might see a picture and they've got strips going down both sides and then down the middle and just everywhere. Well, that may not be the best way to apply the adhesive. I'm going to show you today how to apply your adhesive because sometimes your denture adhesive might cause you pain in your denture. If you apply it like they say in the, in the, on the pictures in the instructions, it's going to dry. It may dry in clumps or hard, the hard knots, knots, knots. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's going to dry like that in your denture. And I've noticed if I apply the denture adhesive, how it says on the package, I usually get a sore. I, I usually get some kind of sore of something going on and it took me a while to figure this out. So I'm going to show you how to apply your denture adhesive so you won't get any sores and so it won't hurt in your mouth. All right, I have my dentures here. There's my lower and my upper. Sometimes, depending on what adhesive you use, let me rinse these off. Let me just rinse them off real quick. But sometimes it depends on the adhesive you use, whether you need your adhesive on a dry denture or a wet denture. It, it depends. If you're using an adhesive like Dr. B's, Olivafix Gold, um, any oil-based adhesive, it's okay to apply the adhesive with your dentures wet. It's okay to do that. Try it and see if it works better for you. The water actually activates the adhesive. So it's okay to do that, but you try it. There's no rules in denture adhesive, really. You do what works for you the best, and it's hit and miss, and you just have to keep trying adhesive. I need to get me an adhesive out, don't I? I sure do. I have been testing this, so look for a video on this soon, but I, I will we'll talk about this in the video. But here we go. I have the Fixident Pure Strength. And on the back of the package, like most packages, I don't know, can you see this right here? It tells you to do the lines down the top denture and put it all in the lower denture like that, okay? If you do this, you may end up with globs of adhesive dried in your denture. Your denture is hurting and you don't know why. Or you might eat something and it, it, it might like push down on there and get a sore. That might happen. So here's how I do it. I will take adhesive and only put a little here, that's probably too much, and a little here. That's how I do it, okay? Keep watching, because I'm gonna show you more. And then I'm gonna put a little dot here and a little dot here. That's all. Now, don't put this in your mouth like this because that's gonna harden in your mouth into what is going to feel like a stone. You don't wanna do that. So you can either take a wet Q-tip. Some people like using these. My grandmother used these all the time. Some people don't like using them because it says they say they leave fuzz in here and they don't like them. Or a toothpick. I use a toothpick. And what I do, we'll start with the bottom denture. I see this area right here. If you're gonna get any seepage out of your denture adhesive, it's gonna come from right there. So what I do is I'm going to take some of this out because I know that's too much. I just kind of spread it up to about here with my with my uh, toothpick. Just kind of spread it around just to there. And then I'll do the same to the other side. Now, I will take just a little bit and just go right around here like this. Because I know there's a little bit of a piece of it in there, not a lot. It's going to look like that. So nothing is going to dry hard in my mouth. With this one, I'm going to take it down the sides first. And this is enough adhesive for me. If you need to use more, use more. Try it for a day using less, because sometimes less is more. Try it for a day using less. The next day, if, 
if your dungeon didn't hold, put a little more in there. If it didn't hold that day, add a little more. Just keep playing with it. Don't give up on your denture adhesive. So it's going to look like that. I don't have any glops in there. Now, here's what... Where, where are you? Come back, come back. All right, here, let me show you how I put these in. And it's different than probably most people do. And I do it this way because I get a little more hold. Just put those in. Grab your bottoms. Put those in. And now, if in the next 10 minutes or so you get a lot of seepage out of here don't put so much adhesive right here in the front center all right we're going to grab this paper towel and we are going to put it in our mouth and we are going to bite down call me crazy but it sets the denture up on your gums a little bit better and i'm going to hold it in there for like 30 seconds i you don't have to watch me do that but this is how i do it and i just bite down and that just pushes the denture adhesive. The denture's in and it just helps. I've learned it helps doing that. I know it has helped other people and that, that's all I do. To get the adhesive out of my mouth at night, I get a, I take my dentures out, I get a dry microfiber cloth and I just kind of roll the adhesive off and it will come right off. So I'll put this in here. Because you know paper towels are slimy so just leave it in your mouth you look ridiculous but we can look ridiculous together and then once the saliva is kind of dried up in your mouth it's easier to roll this adhesive off your gums much much easier and then i go brush my gums i have the dr b paste here and his toothbrush i'll go brush my gums then and if there's any excess adhesive that the uh, microfiber cloth didn't get off the dr b um, clean it up paste well so there that's how i do this so if you're new at dentures i have a denture playlist just for like first denture first how to take your dentures out everything you know everything you need to know things you need to eat and i'll put i'll put a pin comment with that playlist of denture wear first so if you're new to this or just want to, I, I don't know what word I'm like, refresh, refresh. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. You can go watch that video. Also, you know, if you're watching this and you have any family members that wear dentures and they're either new to this or they're older to this, because some of the old time denture wearers don't know about a lot of the new products that are out that are good on cleaning and adhesive and all of that. I talked to a friend and she's worn dentures for years and years and years and years. She uses polydent because she figured that's the only thing out there. And actually, for me, that's one of the adhesives that just doesn't work. She had no idea about all the new products and stuff on the market that you can clean your dentures. So share the video with one of your friends. And um, yeah, I'll see you in